Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for January 26, 2016. It's a Tuesday morning. We have a wide range of temperatures throughout the region this morning with uh, temperatures right along the coast skyrocketing into the upper 30s to lower 40s via a southerly wind right off the Atlantic Ocean. However, the snowpack is fighting back with temperatures falling into the teens and 20s over the rest of the region. And then we warm up back into the 30s and 40s ahead of a cold front over portions of western Pennsylvania. So we have a wide variety of temperatures throughout the region. The good news is that we will be warming up above freezing, and that means we'll see plenty of snow melt for today with temperatures rising into the lower to mid 40s for highs this afternoon. On the surface map, you can see a cold front over the Ohio River Valley and the central uh, Great Lakes driving towards the northern mid-atlantic for this evening with a few widely scattered isolated showers this isn't a major rainfall in any way shape or form but do watch out for a few of those scattered showers and flurries out there for this afternoon and evening on through tomorrow morning once that cold front moves through we'll be a little bit cooler pretty much where we should be for this time of year but overall no major warm-ups or cool downs or arctic blasts on the way for the next uh, five to seven days pretty much temperatures go from near normal to slightly above normal moving in through this upcoming weekend on the radar you can see those showers off to the west they will take their time to get here and reach the region by this evening again no major heavy precipitation is expected and on the infrared satellite picture you can see some of that lifting driving off to the east and the cold front off to the west slowly approaching the region so let's dive into this forecast for this afternoon we're dealing with increasing clouds widely scattered isolated showers by the evening rush hour high temperatures in the lower to mid 40s overnight tonight look for scattered rain and snow showers no accumulations expected as far as the snowfall and rainfall will be very light by tomorrow morning, a few rain and snow showers again. Temperatures falling into the lower to mid 30s. High temperatures tomorrow afternoon in the lower to mid 40s as a cold front exits the region and we end up with sky cloud cover. On Thursday morning, there could be a few flurries out there, but otherwise I'm thinking it's going to be rather dry. Temperatures range from the mid 20s for lows and high temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s. So pretty much where we should be for this time of year. Taking a look at the next couple of days, we we'll dive into Friday morning with the high pressure pretty much in control. That storm that's out in the Atlantic will remain well out into the Atlantic with sky cloud cover expected. Low temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s, high temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s. On Saturday and Sunday, a series of weak cold fronts will move through the region, but overall I'm expecting dry weather conditions with temperatures moderating very nicely. Saturday, temperatures will have lows in the mid to upper 20s and highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And on Sunday, we'll have lows in the mid 30s and highs in the mid to upper 40s. On Monday, another frontal boundary will attempt to move through the region with a few widely scattered showers. Otherwise, look for dry conditions with overcast skies. Could be a threat of some morning fog as well. Look for lows in the mid to upper 30s, highs in the mid to upper 40s. And on Tuesday, sky cloud cover once again with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 30s and high temperatures in the mid 40s. After Tuesday, we'll have an Arctic cold front move through the region.